congratulations right. to you, Nicole. And again, we still have more batches of prizes to give out. So make sure to fill up those passports, get them stamped, and also give us your raffle stuff so you can qualify for that. Okay? All right, Mark, let's proceed yes. to our next chef. Oh, are we already ready for our next dish? I'm ready. Wow, it just keeps on coming. Okay, so uh, now let's proceed from one delicious dish to another. This time, we will be trying out a sampling of local pride as our next chef does wonders with McCormick meal recipe mixes Filipino cuisine variant. Let's find out how he's going to amaze us with it. This prolific, flavor-slinging 28-year-old is the chef behind the kitchens of Lucavor, Empingao, Tahirio 101, and Carnival. Um, he leveraged his experience as former head head chef of La Regala to bring out the flavor of each ingredient in a Filipino dish and present it in a colorful way. Let's give a warm Kasi may nakita ko sa Cavite na ganyan. Siya shake-shake mo, tapos mag-popsicle. Okay, so hindi ka meron. Ah, meron din. Ano tawag sa kanya? Ano tawag po sa kanya? Ice Pops. Philips induction cooker. Oh, one shake, shake, shake. One, 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 one
Jensen and the Blitz. This is the McCormick Flavor Nation Festival 2017, brought to you by McCormick. Follow McCormick on Instagram at McCormickville My and product. on Facebook at Brand and Flavor. This, this event is also done in partnership with FNB Report. Follow them on Instagram at FNB Report. With our media partner, Northern Living and Southern Living, follow them at Noli PH on Instagram. May luto na ka, ay may ano na kayo, may matigas na. If you're on social media, please don't forget the hashtag for today, hashtag McCormick Flavor Nation. Again, you're with us here at McCormick Flavor Nation 2017. Come on down and enjoy some special dishes. Doesn't have to be meeting fine. I love a lot of coriander, so we split the apple around. Then we've made a very, very simple curry oil. So uh, we saute some garlic, some finely chopped garlic. Then we add in curry powder, parmic curry powder. Then we just let it saute and let the garlic turn soft. And we soak it in some oil. Preferably, you can. Of Mecha Uma fame, our next chef is heavily influenced by Filipino, Spanish, and Japanese cuisines. His love for homegrown flavors and desire to uplift Filipinos in a culinary industry gave birth to a private catering business called Radical Culinary Incorporated, which captures his experimental approach. Our chef hosts private dining experiences and finds his home, but then in November 2016, he and his business partner and mixologist Mark Marquez opened Privados. It's the newest addition to the culinary scene in Pasig City. So ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Chef AJ Reyes. Yes, how about a round of applause please for Chef AJ. We're over here, I'm joining Chef AJ Reyes right here. Okay. I got to taste this dish earlier today. It's fantastic. So I'm excited to find out how to make it and also share with all of our friends here how to uh, create this in their very own homes. Chef, how are you? I'm fine. Why? All right, great. So um, how do we set up this uh, dish? And tell us what it, what it is, first of all. So actually, it's a Cajun shrimp. So we're going to play around with uh, spices that are this sour and sour. So, uh, Oh, no, how many? Go. Three, one, three. Okay, so you get one. One, two, three. Okay, so you get one. Pops the first thing that pops is shrimp and corn. So it's actually a fried or a steamed. So after the marination for like an hour or more, you can start seeing the marination. Thank you. So, uh, for this size, it takes around uh, 2 minutes to 10 minutes for to serve both sides. Uh, check, just check the bonus, depends on the size section. You can do that at home and also put it with your dish. Actually, all of the shops are the 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 Okay, so look at that. Home 
and that's it. That's how you get a bit crispy. That's the crunch with the chicken with parsley, basil, uh, anything that's green, it is peanuts, you can get you can use vetch as well. So after the barbecue, it's quite fun. You can use it really, really, if you're a big man, you take the young corn, which is nice. So the young corn is actually, uh, the pickle is actually what adds CDB, uh, make it more, um, I mean, refresh your way to add more uh, depth in the flavor. Right, so that's why, like, I tried that a while ago, I thought it was just corn, but it was a bit sour, so it's pickled young corn. Yes. So for some of the crispy, uh, I played with uh, corn pitega, which I crushed, uh, crushed using the mother pestle, you can use a blender as well, but you can use uh, big chunks, it depends on you. Last step? And the last step, we put some uh, varnish, as, um, if you have like greens. So here we get a local supplier of um, tissues, so add tissues, yeah. and some red amaranth. And if you don't, if you, let's say if you don't have a grill in your house, you can actually uh, use oil with some wood chips. You can say smoke it later, which we, we do, we just can cook charcoal here right now. So I have um, smoke oil. This is smoked oil. How do you do smoked oil? How about you, Chef? If they want to follow Chef AJ Reyes, where do they go? Flavor Nation. They're all still here with us at Performance Flavor Nation 2017. We're so glad to come down here to the Bonifacio Pool City on this slightly warm but beautiful Sunday afternoon. Let's go back to Tracy on stage. Pero kung ganun bibili mo, ba't hindi ka na magano? Teka, magano bang plano? Magano?